I didn't have a chance to play tennis when I was in high school. When I entered college at University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, a friend of mine, Robert Harris, he asked a group of us, let's go play tennis. Uh, I got a couple of rackets. And so we all went to the tennis court and uh, we had a great time and uh, we became good friends and we played tennis every day. And then we started practicing with the uh, UAPB tennis team. And uh, a spot opened up and I fell into that spot, you know, my sophomore year. I don't know where my career would be right now if I had played high school tennis, but I want every, I want every youth to have a chance to, to experience tennis. All those years that he's put in on the courts with the kids, no pay. He has worked with every single one of them where a lot of people will say, oh, I don't think I can do that. I don't want to do that. That's too much trouble. Alex has never said that. He's willing to do anything that is needed. He's thinking tennis all the time. It's, it's on his mind 24 hours. So if anybody deserves a award is Alex because he sleeps, eats, talks tennis all the time. Now he'll be on the road coming back from St. Louis or Little Rock or somewhere, and he calls me. Ron, you got this idea. Uh, I want to start doing some lessons with the kids and stuff. I said, okay, Al. Let me know when it is, where it is, I'm there for you. Alex and his whole NJTL have been instrumental in building players, future coaches, future tennis leaders in the Wichita and surrounding area. I think a good testament to a person is the fact that what they're doing not only resounds in the community, but you can see the next generation of leaders come from that work. So I see that with Alex every day. And, and all the time that he has put in on the Missouri Valley Board, which has been years and years, uh, he does projects here. And, and like when he came and helped me with my projects, and he's willing to go most anywhere and help people with their programs. And that's what's important. Some people do things for brief periods of time. Some require recognition. And some, it's truly something that they believe in. They truly care about the impact. They care about each individual kid, each individual person. So even though Alex has impacted thousands upon thousands of tennis players with his work, I know that he would have done it for just one. And that to me, that says it all. The thing I'm most proud of out of the program out here is the four national NJTL essay winners and two recipients of uh, NJTL scholarships. Those two have uh, entered college. One has graduated uh, at Friends University and, and, and now she's a graduate assistant working on a master de master's degree. So that kind of stuff I'm really proud of. Well, I'd just like to personally congratulate him for being inducted to the Hall of Fame. So he has worked hard for a long time. I'm not gonna say how many years, but he's been totally committed yeah. to a fault. Yeah. You know, so he just, I can't think of no one more deserving than him. Yeah. I just want to say that I'm very proud to have him on the Hall of Fame. When I started on this journey, I didn't even think about a Hall of Fame. I was just trying to promote tennis. But I am really honored to be recognized with the servant leaders of the Missouri Valley Tennis 